Yo, what's good? It's your boy Signature back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I process my vocals, okay? So I hope you learned something new because I'm going to go from the technical, the surgical, down to the creative side as to how I process these vocals. But a huge disclaimer on this one, I'm going to use FL Studio stock plugins like FL Studio native plugins all the way. If you want to see me use third party plugins, comment below and I'll do a part two, like a separate part two video to this one. Otherwise, comment below and let me know if you like it and if you learned something, like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad and never miss anything, okay? Join the plug. Let's get it, fam. Alright, welcome to the tutorial. Now, before we begin, I just want to say if you learn something at the end of the video, please don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos like this. I promise you, I promise you, there's videos, more videos coming like this. Let's get to it. This is the vocal dry. Oh. I've been doing this forever, dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever, dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever, yeah. I've been doing this forever, yeah. The vocal was recorded very well. Uh, everything has been gain staged in a way. So we're going to just head straight and route it to channel 30. And then uh, without wasting any time, I'm just going to balance it with the instrumental and then start mixing. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. So I'm happy with it. Now we're going to move to the next thing and we're going to start by adding or to tune and just tune the vocal to have it sounding the way we want. Here we're gonna go with a very alto type of tone and the key is E minor. So we're gonna set it there and then give it that auto tune, like retune speed. I want it to sound as very like auto tuned as much as possible. I want it to have that electronic sound, but very controlled in a way. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Let's pull it back. I've been doing this forever, dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever, yeah. I've been doing this forever. Ah, come on. Like, now we're gonna shoot straight for the EQ. Here, I wanna start by uh, introducing a high pass filter around uh, like your 90 to 100 hertz preferably maybe around 100 103 hertz for this specific project and then i'm gonna just go in deep and just start uh, notching down and sweeping for the problematic frequencies and let's get to it i've been doing this forever I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Let's start sweeping. I've been doing this forever. Mm. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. I've been doing this forever. There we go. Oh, let's pull that down. So we're taking out that boxiness out of the vocal. That boominess. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Here's that actual boxiness, uh, we're taking it out. So we did the boomy, we I've did the boxy. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it Just better. Just listen to how harsh that sounds. Let's pull that down as well. Uh, let's mess with the cue. Just open it a bit. I've been doing this forever. Let's go around that Dropping 1K hits, range. Nobody does it better. I I've been doing this forever. I've been doing this forever. I've been doing this forever. Very, very problematic. Drop, I've been doing this forever. There we go. Dropping there heads. We go. I've been doing this forever. Got you. 
Alright, got you. I've been doing this forever. Now let's let's really get surgical and really matter. narrow it down. I've been doing this forever. Got you. Now let me pull you down. Let me mess with the cue a bit just to give it that natural feel. Let me pull it down a bit more. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Ooh, that's a potential problematic I've been frequency doing this right forever. there. Forever. Yeah. Mm. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. All right. And then here, basically, let's first do it A and B so we can hear how it sounds without it. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Sounds very tight, less boomy and boxy. It sounds more present and energetic and just in your face. Now let's add a compressor. I like to go subtractive EQ, then a compressor, then I can go for additive EQ. So here, specifically on uh, the effort limiter, we are gonna go to the I've compressor been doing section. This Dropping hits, nobody does it better. We lower the threshold. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Here you tryna just I've been doing tame this those uh, peaks, yeah. and just level it proper. So you're gonna mess with that threshold just to cut out yeah. all this like peaks. So let's pause it. Now let's mess with the threshold. We're cutting all the peaks. Just all those huge peaks trying to meet a proper average. You're trying to just achieve one uniform vocal. So we're good here. Now the next thing we're going to go for is the ratio. So here's the release. Now remember, or rather, sorry, the ratio. I like to go for anything from 2 to 1 up to 5 to 2, depending on the film. I've been doing this forever. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. Now a trick. I've been doing this forever. Uh, let me put it like this. Nobody does it better. A very good trick with the ratio, with the release, is you wanna avoid that whitish color. I've let me show you. I've been doing this forever. This whitish color. I've been doing. You wanna avoid this whitish color when you mess with the release because it means when you go with the fast release, uh, when you go with the slow release rather, it starts to clip. You introduce a lot of artifacts, hence you see it being white there. So we wanna create a more fast and smooth release so that we don't have that whiteness there. Let me show you now. I've been doing this forever. Sorry, let me unpause. Watch how it. I've been doing this forever. There's no more white. You Dropping see? Heads, the more does you go it on the right, the less uh, I've been doing clipping this you introduce. Dropping heads, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. There we go. I've been doing this forever. See, we're only touching, yeah. like we're barely touching the I've whole vocal. We're just messing with those Dropping huge hits, peaks, the peaks only. So we're good here. On to the next. Now here's the fun part. You sleeping, like you you sleeping, you sleeping on this if you're not using it. The fruity wave shaper is a dope ass plugin for distortion and all that saturation, that good harmon like harmonic frequency, exciting. I'm telling you, like. Watch this. I've been doing this forever. Mm. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. So basically, we need to now gain match. I've been doing this forever. So we need to bring it up. Hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. We need to get it up. Dropping hits, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. I've been doing this forever. 
I've been doing this forever. Ooh, that's too much. Dropping heads, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Dropping heads, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. So here we're basically trying to gain match it so that you only get the effect and no difference in volume. Then here with the delay, I just want to get like a four, a fourth uh, timing delay where it just comes in the end of each phrase and not clash with the vocal. I've been doing this forever. Dropping. That's too much. So let's fix that. I've been doing this forever. Dropping. Exactly. Exactly. I've been doing this forever. Dropping heads, nobody does it better. There we go. Let's add reverb and create that 3D space and just put that vocal into a large hole just to polish the tail of every phrase of the, the, the hook. So let's put that large hole setting, pull down the wet, leave it a very minimum one, add a bit of the decay and even add a pre-delay, mess with the high cut and the low cut, mess with the size, pull down the wet. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is gonna be amazing. Now, once we've created the 3D space, we're gonna also add the, the separation of the reverb and make it very stereo. Let's preview it now. Let me switch off the reverb. I've been doing this forever, dropping head. Here it's with it into a large space. Oh, I've been doing this forever, dropping heads, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever, dropping heads, nobody does it better. Uh, to the limit here, we just want to tame and make sure it doesn't clip nothing too intense that we're going to be doing here but we're also going to add like a chorus effect just to further widen it and just smooth it out so let me pick a preset here and i'm going to also turn down the mix level now again make sure with every plugin that you put in you gain match it so that it doesn't mess with the overall volume of the vocal Here's the preview. Oh, 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 I've been doing this forever. Dropping heads, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Dropping heads, nobody does it better. I've been doing this forever. Yeah. I've been doing this forever.